hello and welcome back to my channel today we will be doing a tarot reading for the death of rebecca zhao but before i begin i would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you will get notified on my next upload i'm uploading a new video every week and i'm offering a free tarot reading for all of my subscribers so if you would like to have your reading with me you can just send a message to my email or a direct message to my instagram all of the details will be in the description box below. Rebecca Zhao was found hanging at the Spreckles Mansion in Coronado, California on July the 13th, 2011, and pronounced dead by first responders called to the residence. Zhao's death occurred two days after six-year-old Max Sagnay, the son of her boyfriend, Jonah Sagnay, had fallen from the staircase of the mansion and was in critical condition in hospital. Rebecca and her younger sister, Sina, were the only people present at the time of Max's fall. Subsequently, on July the 16th, 2011, Max Shacknai died of his injuries. So, on July the 11th, 2011, Zahao, Max, and Zahao's teenage sister, Sina, were at the mansion, which Shacknai used as a summer estate. At some point during that day, Max fell face first over a second floor banister, suffering injuries to his spinal cord and facial bones. Zaha said that she was in the bathroom at the time. She found Max moments later and Sina called 911. Max was not breathing and unresponsive and was taken to Ready Children's Hospital. On July the 26th, investigators ruled the boy's death as an accident speculating that he somehow tripped. On July the 12th, 2011, Zaha dropped off Sina at the airport for her flight back to Missouri and then picked up Shaknai's brother Adam, who had just arrived on a flight from Memphis, Tennessee. Zaha, Shaknai, and Adam ate dinner with a friend named Howard that evening. Zaha and Adam returned to the Spreckles mansion while Jonah reportedly kept the vigil at Max's bedside with his mother, Dina Romano. On the morning of July 13th, at roughly 6.45 a.m., Adam stated that he found Zaha's nude body hanging from a balcony with her wrists and ankles bound and her hands behind her back. Zaha was gagged with a blue long sleeve t-shirt wrapped around her head with the sleeves double knotted and stuffed into her mouth. There was also what appeared to be tape residue on her legs. Adam called 911 at 6.48 am then sent a text message to his brother to inform him of the news. Speculations of foul play began early on in the case. However, investigators were unable to find any other DNA at the scene besides Jahaz. On September the 2nd, the San Diego County Sheriff's Department formally announced their finding that Rebecca committed suicide. I would like to add that there's a note that was left on the door that said, She saved him. Can you save her? And I think that this is important to mention. All right, let's just start with the reading. All right, so from the first deck, we have Ten of Pentacles, the Devil, the Lovers, Son of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and Two of Pentacles. Now let's start with the Son of Pentacles. I feel that this represents Max's energy and Underneath it, we see that there's a seven of pentacles here. I feel that this is how he felt on the day that he fell. I think that this represents his boredom. I feel that he was waiting for something like they might have planned to go out later on that day and he couldn't wait and that he felt bored while waiting and 
with the ace of wands here i feel that he was finding a way to do something to get out of his boredom and that was why he played around the stairs and the fact that there's no other people's energy from the first deck i feel that what happened to him was an accident and that no one was doing this on purpose but let's just see what else we can pick up from this this two of pentacles here i feel that this represents the scooter that he was playing with as these two pentacles represents the wheel of it i feel that he was playing with the scooter but in a weird kind of way i don't know why but that's what i feel it's like i don't think that he rode that scooter i feel that he was playing with it like swinging the scooter or something and also i feel that the scooter was the cause that the chandelier fell from the roof so it wasn't because he pulled that chandelier i feel that the chandelier fell because it was hit by the scooter and this four of pentacles i feel that rebecca was supposed to watch him and for some reason she was not and the most that we can blame her for was negligence but i don't get the feeling that she abused max with the line that is binding all the pentacles here i feel that somehow this is about the way rebecca's hands and feet were tied up but i will need more information about this probably later on after we draw more cards from the second deck and the four of wands here represents about the house that all of this happened inside the house and also if i focus on the middle of this i feel that it is like seeing something from somewhere above like a higher place and looking down on it and it makes me feel like i'm falling so i believe that this was max's energy the way he felt when he was falling from the stairs yeah and i also feel that max was supposed to rest or do something else I feel that Rebecca told him to like take a nap or change his clothes or do something in his room or you know something like that and because he felt so bored he played around and the accident happened this ten of pentacles for me represents the owner of the house who's in charge so it will be about Jonah and with the devil card here on top of the lovers here I think that these three speak about how he felt about this incident that with the devil he was filled with anger, resentment, all the negative feelings and the fact that the lover's card is under this card i feel that he blamed rebecca for what happened whether he said it out loud or not that's just how he felt all right now let's just draw more cuts to get money inside about this case so from the second deck we have five pentacles Five of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, King of Wands, Knight of Wands, The Lovers, Three of Pentacles, King of Swords, and Queen of Wands.
Okay, so we have two cards that appear twice. The Knight of Pentacles and the Lovers. So the main focus for sure were both of them as this is Max's energy and this represents Herbika's energy as the lover of Max's father. Okay, so that we, now we have established both of their energies. We can move on to focus on other energies. There are lots of energy anyway. Um, let's see. We have King of Wands. Um, Nine of Wands, King of Swords, and Queen of Wands. So these two will be the victim's energy. Now the question would be, who are these four people? Okay, I would like to start with the King of Wands here. I feel that this represents Jonah's energy and that the Knight of Wands here underneath it will represent his brother energies, Adam, and the Queen of Wands is Dina's energy, Max's mother. Why I said that is because as Adam is related to Jonah as brother and Dina as his ex-wife or the mother of Max. And now the other one is King of Swords. So who is this King of Swords? I'm not sure who that is, but it's someone who is involved as well in this case. And there's three of pentacles in between these four people. I feel that this means that they were in this together and this means that what happened to Rebecca was not a suicide we see here that we have two fives which usually represent struggles changes and let's start with the five of pentacles here What I can see from this card is someone who is laying down helplessly and the fact that there are five of pentacles here in the connection with this case I feel that this happened because of the resources that they have whoever responsible for this he or she or they use the resources that they have to make her be at this point and the fact that she was laying down I feel that she was knocked off she may not be unconscious but she was losing her balance we know that from her autopsy report that there were injuries in her head and they said that it was because she fell from the balcony and knocked her head um, no, I don't think so because before I chose to read for this case my higher self was sending me a message at that moment I, I knew that the next case that I was going to do would be about someone who had injuries on their head or that would be the cause of their death and as I was reading about her case I didn't connect that spiritual information and what happened to her but when I heard that there were injuries on her head then I knew that that was something we need to look more into about this case and I feel that it was the key to the case to say that someone else was involved and this is not a suicide case regardless I just want to share with you the information that I gathered 
spiritually and I think that is important to this case because I took it as a message from Rebecca that someone else knocked her head from the back and that the injury on her head was not because she fell from the balcony so now let's see the next card here we have five of wands and this is another sign that she was struggling I would say that usually with the five of wands it involves sexual assault that she was struggling with the assault as well it was not just struggling to survive but with this card I feel that this is also how she felt about what happened to Max she struggled to cope with what happened she felt guilty and she didn't know what to do or say to Jonah or Dina I feel that she had a hard time processing what happened and I feel that this feeling contributed to why the parents suspect foul play in Max's accident there's a four of swords I feel that this is why I have the feeling that Rebecca told Max to take a rest in his room I feel that she thought that he would be safe in his room you know just resting but she didn't know that she, he felt so bored and he wanted to play something and the second shadow card here is is of pentacles as this is represented with a, an open door I feel that this is talking about whoever responsible for Rebecca's death was someone who had access to the house that the the door was wide open for the person or people to do whatever they need to do to Rebecca and from the oracle card we have all is well clear your space and nurture I will read the words from each of the card all is well since everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to with hidden blessings you will soon understand so what I get from the message written here is that what happened to Rebecca was supposed to happen to her to justify what happened to Max I feel that the person or the people who are responsible for this believe that what they did was the right thing to do and next to it we have clear your space and it says get rid of clutter clear the energy around you and use feng shui I feel that this refers to get rid of Rebecca so use feng shui here I don't think that this means literally using feng shui but the fact that feng shui is something from Asian culture and that Jonah was referring to Rebecca's suicide as Asian honor I feel that it speaks a lot and the last oracle card is nurture and it says as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child, but activities are important for you right now. This clearly is telling us that the whole thing is because of what happened to Max and they are all trying to be the parent and did whatever they feel appropriate as a parent. So yeah, that is all the reading about the death of Rebecca Zhao. I'm not speculating anything here. This is all for entertainment purpose only. 
but I would like to hear your opinion about this case so please share it in the comment section below don't forget to like and share this video thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next unsolved cases reading Thank you.